the same as a pajama game. I work in the sleek tight pajama factory. I'm an executive. I'm a time study man. I can tell you per second exactly how many stitches go into each pair of pajamas. I can time anything. Nothing when we get down to the factory. I told you he was sharp. There is the cutest one. Oh. <laughs> Relaxing, but then he was his character. How about stress? If we don't get a seven and a half cent raise by the first of the month, we strike. Yeah! You said. Here comes my boss, Mr. Hassler. He's a great economist. Wait, wait, wait. Turn off these expensive lights. You think J.P. Morgan got rich leaving lights burning all over Wall Street? Where's my secretary? Gladys? Yes, Mr. Hatton. I love her. I love her. Where's the new superintendent? Sorokin, we can't find him. Mabel, have you seen Sorokin? Yeah, he's about this high, blondish, brown hair, why? I need him. Well, he's around the plant somewhere, Mr. Hassler. First there was a leak in the water tower, and then he went down to the boiler. <coughs> well, go find him. Yes, Mr. Hassler. Gladys. Take a letter. Yes, sir. Board of Directors, employees demand for a seven and a half cent raise absolutely <laughs> unnecessary. Hi. Yes, yeah, sir. Keep things going. Okay, Chief. Come on, girls. Can't wait time. I got my stopwatch on you. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up.
difficult sometimes. You're the third superintendent we've had this year. And I'm the last one you've had this year, Mabel, because I want this job. Well, I'll tell him you're awful busy. Thanks. And another thing, you know what the paying off the casket company? 83. My gosh, you'd be a sensation up at the casket company. Maybe you could get a job as a tester and just lie around in coffins all day long. Now hurry it up! Hey, you can't do that! I just did. Got the screws? Yeah, that's right. I'll fix you. I'm getting the grievance to me. What are we going to do? A grievance committee can start quite a rhubarb. This whole town's a rhubarb. You'll get used to it. I hope so. We're going to need a larger switch, and we've got all a fuse. I'll run down the store out. Master Hatchworth looking for you! Did you get lost? I had to fix the number nine machine. I expected you in the shipping room. Don't pay any attention to him, Sid. Thanks. We think you get so familiar with him, Sid. What does this mean? It doesn't mean anything. I just like to be friendly. Friendly? You're always flirting. Oh! Dancing on the green! Two foxes! Next time I send for you, I'll expect you. That's the way we run things around here. Mr. Sorokin, I told you to be careful. When I heard about you beating up that poor boy... I didn't beat him up. Well, he was dangling his arm like it was hurt terrible. Let him take it up with the committee. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Here comes Babe Williams now. I'd be delighted to talk to him. All right, mister. Here's the grievance committee. This is the grievance committee? That's right, Mr. Sorokin. This is the committee. Charlie, this grievance committee is different. Never mind the snow job. Look, Miss Williams. I hit the kid. What's the next move? He says you hit him. He does? Yes, I do. Let's just say I shoved him. It sounds more refined. Mr. Sorokin! Mr. Hassel wants to see you in his office right away. Tell him to. Tell him okay. Oh, this is a crisis. The cops are 15 minutes behind the bottoms. Oh, Miss Williams, can we take this up later? I've got a factory to get going. Of course we can, Mr. Sorokin. That's in the rule book, too. Go tell the nurse to check your arm, then send me a report. All I've got to say is that you're just about the cutest grievance committee I've ever had to deal with. All right, girls, here we go. That race time. Hurry up, hurry up. Racing with the clock, racing with the clock. Not an ounce, not 
so there always seems to be a demand for it. Was you on some real dates? That's why I first met him, Lucy. He was throwing knives at a woman at the Majestic Theater. No. Here, Pooh. One hot and dollar. And I hope the ham ain't as salty as it was at the last union picnic. I was dragged for a week after. For days. Now, where are you going? I'm leaving him a note. Huh? Carrying <laughs> on with Sorokin. Huh? Oh, <laughs> hurry him up. Now, I saw you leave a note on his desk. I'm not the lie. <laughs> That's why you won't let no get dressed today. You make me scream. Why don't you just bring me scream? Oh, All right, then. What's it? I dare you tell me what, it, what this is. Read it. Then go cut the throat. <laughs> okay, payroll seven thousand five hundred two dollars and one cent. That means I love you in the Morse code. Ain't <laughs> hey, you a saint to yourself, Heinzy? Heinzy?
electricity. What's this? This book shouldn't be left lying around here. Gladys? Yes? Where have you been? I've been to the ladies. Isn't that all right? Yeah, but what's this book oh, doing Mr. here? Oh, Mr. Hacker, you scared the life out of me. Look, I got the key around my neck. It's all right. Well, I don't want it left lying around. Is that clear? Yes, Mr. Hassler. I can't trust Gladys. Who can I trust? I wouldn't know. What was my book doing lying here anyhow? Say, baby, tell me something. What kind of girl is this Babe Williams? Babe? She's happy. Well, it's fine. Is she married? Uh, no, not quite. What do you mean, not quite? Well, she was close once. She was engaged to the Johnson boys. So one time, at a football game, she accidentally pushed him off the edge of the bleachers. Game of concussion. That broke the engagement. <laughs> Give me ladies' pants. Sorokin speaking. Say, whatever happened to the complaint about the work that's supposed to have sucked? I'd like to get that settled. Could you send the grievance committee to my office? No, right away. I can. You have an answer. Your kid's easy around this place. Next thing you know, they're talking about us. Don't think it hasn't been mentioned. Too many rejects on rayon crepe numbers. Hello, babe. Hello, babe. <laughs> I think Mr. Hassler needs me to take a couple of letters. Come on, girl. Oh, Miss Williams, can I talk to you for a moment? How about a date? <laughs> Thanks, but I don't think so. What is this strange power I have over women? It really wouldn't work, not at all. You see, you're the superintendent, and I'm the grievance committee.
need no introduction. On account we all know him, and it's always a great pleasure to have him within our midst. And at this time, it gives me a great pleasure to introduce to you our boss, Mr. Marlon Hassel. Okay, Mr. Hassel. Thank you. I am proud to be with you. We're all members of a great industry. To that industry, we owe our lives and our daily bread. In return, we must recognize the stern obligations placed upon us in these times of government upheaval and economic chaos. I can never remember a time when prices had sunk so low, dealers were so cantankerous, and prices were so ruthless. My good friends, pajamas are at the crossroads. Whether our country can, whether the storm of rising costs is a grave question. I thank you. Now, first up will be a baseball game at 130 shot between the face room and ladies' pants. <laughs>
Hey, you got Oh, I don't know. I thought it was too long. Honey, says it's too revealing. Ah, it ain't too nothing. You go tell Heinz to roll. Hoop down Main Street. You got class, honey. You're all beautiful. Ain't I beautiful, too? What? You know something? You got a swell brain. So have you. You're a snappy dresser, too. Oh, I get around. You sure do. I would never tell this to nobody else but you. To nobody else but you. I wouldn't never tell this. What I need to say is you're different from the rest. Maybe you're the best. And I wouldn't never settle down for a nice long evening with a photo album. Sid, there's something I've got to talk to you about. What? I think you're wonderful, but we're in for a lot of trouble. No, baby, why should we be? It's about the seven and a half cents. Oh, that. That contract, lover, that's important. Maybe we ought to face that before Don't we talk start. nonsense. Sid, you mustn't treat me like I'm a baby. I'm not, darling. You've got to listen. 
I don't know why the union is so important to me, but it is. I guess you've got to be on a team. And that's why no matter what's with us, I'm going to be fighting for my side and fighting hard. All right. Well, how do you feel about me, babe? I love you terribly. Well, I love you more than all the heroes in all the history books in all the world. Tell me. What a woman. I'll tell you. <laughs> there once was a man who loved a woman. She was the one he slew the dragon for. They say that nobody ever loved as much as he. Not me. I love you more. Tell me! And there once was a man who loved a woman. She was the one he gave his kingdom for. They say that nobody ever loved as much as he. But me. I love you more. My love is a giant. It's fierce and defiant. How can I prove it to you? Ain't got no kingdom, no dragon to back up my bragging. How can I show what I would do? I only know that once in a while.
lovely couple on the dance floor. <laughs> no, guys. Look what the fire says. says. What a lie. You should have heard him, babe. Wait a minute, please. Mr. Hassler wants to speak to you again. More stuff, sir. Now, man. I just want to add one thought. We want to preserve that fine, sweet, tight spirit. That's easy for you to say, Mr. Hassler, but we're not getting any place. We're going backwards. I didn't say no. I said not now. Look, Mr. Hassler. The help, the, jump, the help are getting very jumpy. Their patience is about wore out. I want to be fair, but there's only so much well, I can... We know the company's doing one hell of a business. We ain't got no education, maybe, but we got eyes and ears. Everybody in the industry has had a seven and a half cent raise. As I said, I want to be fair. That's always been my policy. So I don't give you a yes, and I don't give you a no. I've got to take it up with the board, and that's the way we're going to leave it. Now what, friends? How about a slowdown? A slowdown? This is what we've been waiting for. We've got to get started someplace. Slow down. This is your room, babe. Go to it. Slow down.
This is just going to be a short sure, meeting class. What's going on down at the plant? Well, you all know as good as I. And any of the members who I run into from time to time to say, what good is union? Why should I pay my dues? Why, they could learn a mighty good object lesson. For where would they be in this here battle for the seven and a half cents that they wouldn't get if it weren't for the union? We're sure as hell gonna get it. Yeah. Now before we break up, we're going to have a little entertainment. I hope you're going to show a special courtesy because a couple of the cutting room boys got for that with Gladys Hotchkiss. I was from the front office. A little number they put together is something that's right on the nose because it's about getting hot. And fellow union members, that's exactly what we're doing. Getting hot!
I mean? That's constructive. That's good thinking. Yes. Well, I don't want to get Babe into trouble. Go ahead. Right? What trouble can you get me into? I'm fired already. Well, the union ought to do something about that, too. We could have if she didn't stand right up and say she did it. But if somebody up in a mixed state of busting up company property. Hey, here's a confidence from just inside the committee. Some of the buttons ain't been thrown on too good. What? Some of the buttons ain't been thrown on too good. Oh, <laughs> oh. wait until the salesman comes screaming back to Haslock. <laughs>
by the tick, tick, tock. And I live my life by the clock. Yes, I live my life by the tick, 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 tock on the clock. When I go to sleep, I don't undress. Oh, yes, I sleep in all my clothes. I must confess, you say a strange way to behave. Well, I will admit that the suit gets mussed and it gathers lit and it picks up dust, but think of the time I say. Think of the time he saves. In bed I shave, that's what I said. While I am still in bed I shave. Well, the lather drips and the bed gets wet, and oh, what a lousy shave I get. But think of the time I save. Think of the time he saves. That bowl, I drop an egg, then add some juice. Ew! Or excuse for what I crave. Uh -huh. And then I'll add some oatmeal too when it comes out tasting just like glue. But think of the time I'll say. Think of the time you say. I will sit and count the seconds till the day I die, and when I do. Oh no! I have a plan. What? I'll dig my grave. Cause when St. Peter calls my name, I'll know I'll get that just the same. But think of the time I'll say. Think of the time you say. Now, Abel. But uh, I got a meeting with 
at the board tomorrow. Don't forget. Yes, sir. The books are already accepted. Two bread. That's what I gotta tell him. Two bread. He's gonna recall an awful lot of orders. How many? They're gonna let us know. Gladys, give me your entry. Have it ready for the meeting tomorrow. That's all. You know, Sid, you certainly are a character. Well, I'd like to get some information from you, too. What kind? Double entry. Well, you're not going to get any information. So there. Well, hang on a sec. I'm a desperate guy. And I hate to ask a cute kid like you for a favor, but... Sid, dear, you wouldn't have me violate a trust, I would sure, you? I sure would. It's just that it would help if I knew a little bit more about the bookkeeping of it. Oh, office. no, not that. Well, I wouldn't ask you to show it to me. Just leave it lying around. No, besides, it's locked anyhow. Well, I know a sexy neighbor would lend me the key. Oh, you think so? Well, it would be fun trying to persuade her. Well, it might be fun to be persuaded, okay. but you'd be awfully sore when you didn't get it. Well, I gotta go. No, wait! <laughs> What? Let's go up to you. Well, I hope you're not serious about that key. Well, I don't feel like being serious about anything. Oh, gee, where will you take me? Any place you say. Thank <laughs> you. 
was up to, didn't I? I forget. I'm gonna get you fried and get that key away from you. You'll never get my key! You'll never get my key! I gotta give a message to somebody. Shh, they'll hear you. Go on! Let's get it! Hey, babe, you want to go to the union rally? Well, sure, what do you think? Well, I don't feel so good. Hey, what are you Look what I'm giving you! Charlie, I have. Give me Mr. Hassler's office, please. And what's more, I think I found something. Take it easy, boy. Mr. Hassler, could you come down to my office right away, please? Sorry to have to drive you out here so early, but I knew there was going to be a union rally this morning, and I think I got a hold of some facts that may clear up this mess. Well, it better be quick. Either we get the seven and a half cent raise, or we strike. All right. Are you going to have a parade? We sure are. Well, that'll give me time. I'll be at that rally. That's fair enough. Miss Williams. Can I talk to you? Sid, if it's about you and Gladys, it's really none of my business. But it is your business. Sid, I'm talking about something bigger. My tie straight? I don't know. Ask your wife. <laughs> 
sure we're going to win and that ain't it. Baby me was up half the night figuring things out. I got it all written down on paper. That's 260 weeks times 40 hours every week at roughly two and a quarter hours overtime at time and a half overtime comes to exactly
Of course, if it's anything personal. Oh, very personal. Tell me. What a man, I'll tell ya. More than a lion loves her cousin. A lion loves his brother. More than a flounder loves his fish. More than a guzzler loves his jam. More, 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 more than a man. Two can sleep as cheap as one. 